It has been a tough year for farmers. They were hit hard this spring by flooding, which caused some fields to be too wet for farmers to plant. According to the USDA, South Dakota farmers were unable to plant nearly 4 million acres this year, the highest number in the nation. KDLT's Miranda Page spoke with a farmer today about the hardships many are now facing. Michael Schmidt, a third generation farmer in Del Rapids, has been farming for over 40 years. He's semi-retired now, but he knows what it's like to have a bad year. Back in the early 80s, we went through that one there. 21% interest rate is a real tough deal. And we survived that because some neighbors and business people stepped up. This year, he says he was lucky with his crops, but wants folks to know that that's not the case for many farmers. For some people, this is going to be a tough year. Some corn has been damaged. When it got in, it got in late, so it had plenty of heat to get going and plenty of moisture and just kept on coming and just growing probably too fast and the wind just broke it off right above the ear. Other farmers didn't even get that far. This land in Moody County is just one of the examples of the 3.8 million acres of land that hasn't been planted this year in South Dakota. It's going to be a challenge this fall as some of these guys go down to their bank and try to figure out where they ended up the year and trying to plan for next year because there's going to be some bankers that are going to turn some people down. There's people that are going to be struggling that are just going to need a, a helping hand and, a, and a, an encouraging word probably more than anything. Just as others help Schmidt through his tough years, he's going to look out for his farming neighbors and asks others to do the same. If you see somebody struggling, you know, like not being as outgoing as they were, or not being as friendly, or not going to church, or not going to the coffee shop, or reach out to them, talk to them. And for farmers, Schmidt says to stick with it. You say we were down to nothing 40 years ago and survived it, and life's been good. In Del Rapids, Miranda Page, KDLT News. Schmidt says the ideal conditions right now are hot, humid days for that corn to mature faster. Then for harvest time, farmers are hoping for a warmer fall because frost, of course, could damage the crops.